occurred to me at sometime during 2004, 2005, that for a sophisticated jurisdiction such as Cayman Islands, we need to have a, a sort of a structured uh, arrangement where we proactively modernize our law instead of having to be playing catch up as it as it were. Um, so we need to be proactive in ensuring that our laws remain contemporary. And so the idea of a law reform commission occurred to me. Um, I went and spoke to the then cabinet and the government immediately agreed with the proposal to establish a Law Reform Commission. The Law Reforms Commission role is to make recommendations to government, um, specifically to the cabinet. Once the cabinet receives those recommendations, it may or may not act on those recommendations. Um, the, the Attorney General has an obligation on the law to present the reports to the cabinet and ultimately to the Legislative Assembly. So uh, the Law Reform Commission doesn't make the law, it only makes recommendations. Some of the laws that we have reviewed uh, been the legal aid law, uh, the legal practitioner's law, the insolvency law, the domestic violence law, and we are presently uh, reviewing the strata titles law and the family law. There are two attorneys who are the staff of the commission, myself, as well as Mr. Jose Griffith, who is legislative counsel. I would assign a project to him, assign a project to myself. We tend to work on about four projects um, simultaneously. A commissioner is usually assigned to work with the council on a particular project. We conduct research by looking at legal articles, local cases, as well as international cases. We also consider the Law Reform Commission reports of other jurisdictions, such as New South Wales and Canada. As Legislative Council, uh, my main responsibility is to uh, conduct the research uh, within the Commission. Um, that research uh, results in uh, formulation of the proposals and recommendations uh, and the preparation of a final report. Right, um, that report at times may be accompanied by a bill right, and we are responsible for drafting that bill to support the report. Uh, after a final report, uh, it is sent to the Attorney General. Uh, he in turn would submit that report to Cabinet. Um, that report obviously comprises uh, the recommendations of the Commission. Um, when that report is sent to the Attorney General, right, that concludes the work of the Commission. Now, there may be occasions where the Attorney General, or in fact Cabinet, may request the Commission to reconsider particular proposals. Uh, if they do that, right, the, the report is sent back to the Commission for us to reconsider. And then thereafter, we would submit our, our final report again to the Attorney General for further the Cabinet. Uh, if there is no need to reconsider, but then that, like I said, will conclude the, the, the work of the Commission. The other broad mis misunderstanding is that uh, the Law Reform Commission is the legal advisor to government on matters relating to various ministries. Um, that, again, is not correct. The Law Reforms Commission role is to be distinguished from that of the government legal department, which has a duty and, and an obligation to advise various government departments. We do take uh, projects f uh, originating from the various ministries, and we do take submissions, but ultimately our, our our role is to advise cabinet as a whole and, and not specific government ministries. The law reform process is tailored to suit the area of law which is being considered by the Commission. 
but usually uh, the process starts with a referral by the Attorney General. He may refer a matter on behalf of his department, on behalf of a private organization or person who has written him, or on behalf of an, another government ministry. And we encourage members of the public also to write us to let us know if there's any area of law that they believe should be modernized. Thank you.